Hello, it is really nice to see you all here from the confinements of my social distancing, aka isolation, or a word that we're way too familiar with lately, quarantine. Not that I mean quarantine, but lately there is not much a difference. But you are not here for that. You're here because you've seen pictures like this one, or you've got time in your hands and this dried out creativity is just aching to come out. Do not despair. I got you. So let's just cut, cut, punch, cut to the case. The gear that I used, I used my camera, uh, it's a DSLR, but you can use your phone if you want to. Nicer camera, you're gonna get, you know, better quality image. But this photo here was taken with the phone and I edited it in Photoshop too, so if you want to do this effect, you can do it with any photo that you have, really. Two, I used a tripod. Uh, you can use a pile of books, Excuse me, I don't talk much these days, so you can use a pile of books, you can use a pile of clothes, put the camera somewhere, find a pile of things, basically, and you're good to go. I also used another light, but you don't have to. I used this one here, it's a pretty cool light, I'll be making a review about this light uh, soon. It's a small light that you can put in your pocket, take with you wherever you go, in this case, your house, most likely. So what do I use this light for? I used it to make light for the little butterflies that I would add afterwards. Call it butterflies, call it, I don't know, flying snails. You don't need this. Uh, it helps, but you don't need this. You can use your phone, you can use your... and it will work just the same. And I used Photoshop, so you need a computer probably too. But that's it, that's all you need. So for this one, I was using the light from the window and I was also using this little light that I just showed you. There was no light for the quarantine sign, which was up there. All this is created on Photoshop and I will show you how it's super easy. Now make sure that you set the focus before you start shooting, otherwise you're gonna end up with a bunch of images that are out of focus and you're gonna be like, why? So make sure you have your focus ready. What I use is this, little tripod here that I'm not using. I place it wherever I'm going to be and then I set the focus on it, move the tripod away and take a photo. Okay, now we have the basics. Let's jump into Photoshop and see how this is done. For the sign, first I have to choose the font, what kind of letters I want. Then I choose the color and this can easily be changed afterwards in basically one click. Then you place it wherever you want. You have to transform it for perspective most likely so it matches with the photo and it feels like it belongs there. Now you want to go to effects and put some inner and outer glow. You'll have to choose the color for the glow. Usually you'll use the same color that you choose for the letters. You can play around with this. My numbers may not match with your photo. So just try a couple different things and see what looks best. Now you want to duplicate this layer. You might have to rasterize the words here so you can transform it well. At least that's how I do it. It works for me. I'm sure there are other ways to do it. Feel free to explore different options. And you want to put the blending mode into screen. And you want to add the Gaussian blur effect on the second photo, so the copy of that layer. You want to change the blending mode into screen mode. You can play around with the blur here. And I do that twice, meaning I copy the layer twice and then you can see what looks best. After this, I create a new layer to add some more light and light reflections on top of that. This, I will change the blending mode into screen mode too. I will take the color that the lights have, or maybe a little brighter actually. So make sure you take a soft brush and then you start painting softly the light into the surfaces. In this case, it would be the wall. All those things that I think would be lit from the light coming from this source, from the sign in this case. And make a folder, stay organized, otherwise you're gonna have a bunch of layers here that you don't know what they are. Make it very neat and tidy. You want to put a filter in hue and saturation, right? You wanna put that mask on. After this is looking pretty okay, I want to add a little blur on the first layer because as you see here, there's a depth of field and what's in the back, so the wall is slightly out of focus. So I want the sign to match all this. For the butterflies, same concept. You pick up your butterflies. I have this PNG already for the butterflies. Then you select whatever you want. You put the butterflies wherever you desire or I call butterflies, you can again use whatever you want. I have this light source here that I put on my shoulder, so I'm going to put the butterflies there. And same thing, you make the copies of the butterfly in this case. 
you use blur on all those layers, you change the blending mode into screen, and then you're gonna start to see it appear, that nice glow. You want to put a filter in hue and saturation, right? You wanna put that mask on. Then you put colorize, if that's something that works for your picture, and then you can just play around and see what color matches. At the end, I create a new layer, just like I did for the sign, and I paint those lights that I want more. Now for these magical particles in the picture, there's a ton of particle brushes online for Photoshop, free. If you want me to show you how to make one, just let me know in the comments down below. Then you'll make a new layer, you'll use that brush to paint all these little particles that you want. I use a very similar color to the butterfly colors, so it looks like it's light or particles just reflecting that light from them. And then I add some blur depending on where those particles are. For the final color, so it all looks very cohesive and it has this mood that you want to give it, you can do it in Photoshop, you can use gradient maps, you can use LUTs, you can use uh, Camera Raw filter, works really well. Just play around and find this look that you really like. Go take photos, put neon signs on it, put flowing butterflies, put eagles, put cows, elephants, whatever you want to make glow. Make yourself glow, why not? Have an awesome day, stay safe, and I will see you next time.